Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I've had some issues with these books on the top shelf falling over recently. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how I made these very simple bookends. The great thing about these bookends that I designed is that they're not heavy and they're not reliant on the mass to hold up all these books. And let's face it, bookends can be really heavy, they're hard to transport, and if you've got a bunch of books like this, the heaviest bookend in the world isn't going to keep them from falling over. This, though, makes use of the action of the books falling to actually secure the bookend. Slide it in like so, wherever you want it, and as it starts to tip, the more it grips. Now the key elements to this bookend design are the width of this slot. It needs to be slightly taller than the height of your shelf so that as it begins to tip over, it can actually grip the top and the bottom surface of your shelf. Also, you need to have sufficient height to get, oh, at least 50% the height of your book so that as it begins to tip over, it can actually apply lever action and tighten up this joint down here. You also need to make sure that when you make this front edge, that you leave a sufficient amount of space, otherwise it's going to want to snap off right here at the front. Also, you need to go at least half the depth of your shelf so that your books you know, can't go one way or the other, or uh, so it can't apply a torque and twist it out of place. You want your bookend to remain perpendicular to the shelf at all times. But it's really not that difficult to do at all. Uh, it's a really fun little project. It only took me maybe 10 minutes to think this up and actually cut this out on the bandsaw and the table saw. Uh, There's something you can definitely do yourself, just don't be afraid to try. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.